Tesla uses a different battery, said one of the comments on my YouTube channel, trying to inform me that I was wrong in one of my earlier Tesla semi videos. The video said that the semi will not have the 500 mile range for very long after the truck starts working because there's always about a 5 to 8% battery degradation and that the useful range will be more like 400 miles because the driver will need to keep the state of charge between 10 and 90% in order to not damage the battery. A deep discharge and full charge of lithium ion batteries damages and degrades more quickly than normal. Yes, they will use a different battery in the future, but the trucks now are using the 2170 NCA batteries, the same that is used in other Tesla cars like the Model 3 and the Model Y. So my video stands for the state of the semis battery packs today. But if you want to talk about the future, let's do that. Let's talk about the future, the future of how much better the Tesla semi truck can get using the new 4680 form factory batteries cited by Elon Musk on Twitter. Things are heating up. 38 semi trucks were cited by a Twitter user and are on the road right now. Also, Elon Musk pointed out that while trucks make up only 1% of vehicles, they create 20% of the pollution. The 4680 is a tabless design and that removes the thermal penalty that is inherent in larger battery form factors, meaning that it charges just as fast as a 2170 cell. So the Tesla Semi has a 537 mile range today with the 2170 battery form factor. On battery day, Tesla said that there would be a 16% range increase when the 4680 is optimized. That brings the semi up from 537 miles of range to 622 miles of range, if they are right. Also, there is a potential for another 20% increase due to the improvements to the anode material according to Tesla's battery day presentation. That brings the semi's range to 730 miles. I'm going to disregard the 4% and the 16% cell vehicle integration uh, improvements because I believe Tesla was talking about passenger cars in this video, not the semi. But let's combine these ranges with what Elon said on Twitter. He said that the current efficiency number for the semi is 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile with a clear path to 1.6 kilowatt hour per mile and a possibility of 1.5 kilowatt hour per mile. So we already established that the semi could get 730 miles of range in the future with 4680 cells and a 1.7 kilowatt hour mile efficiency. But if Elon Musk is right and Tesla can get the efficiency down to 1.6 miles per kilowatt hour, then the range would be 772 miles. If Tesla can get it to 1.5 kilowatt hour per mile, then the range for the semi in the future could be 815 miles. So to recap, the Tesla semi has a 537 miles of range with 2170 cells today with a clear path to 815 miles of range in the future with 4680 cells and better efficiency. That's an extra 278 miles, and that's over 50% more range than today. And that's not counting any future tech that may happen along the way with solid state batteries. But this is the reason I keep saying that the Tesla Semi today is only a first generation trucks, obviously. It will eventually take over the entire trucking industry. All trucks in the world will be electric, even cross country sleeper cabs. Mark my words. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.